Um, so this next one, dude, I don't think a purge is going to happen because if it hasn't happened in North Korea yet, then I think we're safe. North Korea, this was probably like a week ago, so it yeah. might be over now. North Korea bans laughing, alcohol, parties, funerals, and more for 11 days to mark the 10th anniversary of Kim Jong-il's passing. What? You are not allowed to laugh for uh, a week and a half, dude. Fuck. Yeah, my buddy sent me this. I was like, I, yeah, I'd be dead in a second. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Can so you what scroll happens? down? What see happens if, if any of those happen? Um. Oh, I didn't. Fuck. Yeah, we should figure that out. Can What's, you Google uh, that? What are the uh, repercussions? Yeah, just Google like uh, North Korea band 11 day band or something like that. It'll pop up. Dude. Oh, there. Yep. Bands laughing. Uh, I don't know what link, but yahoo.com, bro. All right. So 10th anniversary. That was from the 20th. Or this new story is from the 20th. So okay. it's probably still going on. Okay. Um, 11 day bereavement mandate, a noticeably slimmer Kim Jong Un made an appearance. Um, whatever. Scroll down. It was around negative seven degrees Celsius. Which I think that's like, isn't zero freezing? So yeah, zero is yeah. like 32. Yeah. So it's like 10 degrees or some shit. I'm trying to see if there's anything that says what the consequences are. Um, keep going. In the past, many people right who were caught oh, drinking or being intoxicated during the morning period were arrested and treated as ideological criminals. They were taken away and never seen again, dude. You're not allowed to laugh, dude. That's, Holy shit. That's some, that's some fucking Anne Frank shit, dude. Don't laugh, don't make a noise, or you yeah. will never be seen again. Damn. Adding adding that celebrating birthdays and mourning lost loved ones have also not allowed during this period, but they don't say anything about if you got fucking hauled away over that either. Local you police better not die. were also informed to stay vigilant for anyone who fails to appear appropriately bereaved. What the fuck? You gotta look sad, dude. You gotta look sad. I mean, that's probably easy for them. Uh, Yeah. Scroll down. No, it's just like going in the back. Yeah, the okay. Of but, oh dude, you will God. never be seen again if you laugh in the... In the next 11 days. That shit's bullshit, man. I'd be a hermit crab. Dude, I, I couldn't, couldn't survive. Do it. I could not do it. Nah. But you got to think, too, like, like there's... It said also leisure activities. Like, you can't do any leisure activities. Damn. And you got to look sad at all times, yeah. bro. That's yeah. nuts. Well, I mean, I would be sad all the time. <laughs> right. But, like, even in your home or whatever. Like, what if you were in your home and you were just having fun mm. and then the police peek through your window and you get fucking yanked? From this from yeah. this earth. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dude, it's insane. But they're definitely brainwashed. <clears throat> oh yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like dude, there was people being uh taken away and like I think there was a guy you you might have to Google this too. I think there was a guy that was actually executed in North Korea for watching Squid Games. I'm pretty sure. There it is. Oh, Man shit. executed for Squid Games. Tree down. Yeah, yeah, he smuggled Squid Games because it's a, yep, it's a South Korea show, um, and obviously they they hate South wow. Korea. To be executed by firing squad and a high school student who bought a USB drive with the show will be jailed for life. Wow! Damn, so the a guy, high school student, the, the guy who smuggled it in is going to be executed via firing squad, and the guy who got the the thing is in jail for life. That shit's fucking it's crazy. It's insane. Uh, a report by whatever cited unnamed sources saying a man who smuggled and sold the dystopian drama had been sentenced to death by firing squad. Yeah, and the high schooler gets uh, life in prison. <laughs> Another six high schoolers <laughs> who watched the show were said to be sentenced to five years of hard labor. Their supervisors were also said to be punished with teachers and school administrators fired, possibly to be banished, banished. banished to work in remote mines. Jeez. This Dang, is insane, man. dude. 
But when like, they say fuck America's crazy. But dude, that's that is the crazy part too. I don't want to obviously get into like this conversation too deep, but like America, United States always goes to other countries and invades and they're like we're trying to save the country type thing, you know. Yeah. Why don't they do that to North Korea? <clears throat> like that's that's North one Korea place doing where some shit like this. Where it's like we just let it happen, which I'm not for us, you know, invading everywhere. Crazy. Right. But like, I don't know, man. 